Yeah, cold season tornadoes are tough to warm for. They develop along a line. Uh, this was a cold front, and we get a quasi-linear convective system. That's the rain developing along that line. That's convection. When we get strong winds from a cold front and that system develop, you could start to see a bow. We know those. that's where some strong straight line winds will be. At the same time, a notch can develop where there's wind flowing into the storm. That's the inflow notch. And as you can see where the winds are coming together, that creates shear. And that's where we saw that tornado form. The earliest sign of the rotation on our velocity image was about 10, 12 p.m. Just as the warning was being issued, that tornado started at about 10, 11. This is much different than on Memorial Day. There can be some long lead times with these warm season uh, storms. There's a lot more energy within them and these are the supercell tornadoes that develop in that classic hook echo within individual storms. They're not in a line necessarily. These storms have very strong rotating updrafts that can be seen throughout the entire storm and they're much taller than those quasi linear convective systems. Sometimes those systems can fly beneath the radar there and you miss them. For Storm Team 2, I'm meteorologist Carly Smith. All right, Carly.